Yo, what's up, guys? Here at it with my Low C5T, the 2.0. Here's the engine. It's the Sinoa engine G320RC. And I ported the piston and everything to make it flow better. Get some extra power. I got the VRC pipe as well. Sounds amazing. And I got the billet aluminum pull start. It's by RC Max. Now it's a uh, Taylor RC. So this is a 100% working engine. I'm just gonna have it on the side to try the new electric version. Check that out. This weighs almost five pounds, guys. With eight millimeter connect, uh, connectors to their ESC sensor. Look at that. It's the same weight almost as the engine. So we're gonna be putting this in my Low C5T 2.0 along with its brother. Cause it's like a combo, but I purchased these separate. I got the Hobby Wing also, the Max 4. Very powerful unit. It can go all the way up to 12S, which is almost, I believe 44 volts in total. Let me show you the motor position I'm gonna have it about here I'm gonna make I'm gonna be making an aluminum motor mount for this I'm gonna be using the same mountain bolts for the Sonoa engine make a plate put a plate here to bolt the motor and add another plate here to hold the back end of this motor and then maybe on the top, I'm going to add another plate so I can mount the uh, ESC on top. Make it look nice and organized. All right. But this ESC and the motor have the same length, 125 millimeter in length. Check that out. It's got some weight. And we're going to have one battery here. And we're going to have another battery, 6S, right here. So one 6S here, one 6S here. With my own custom plate here, also made out of aluminum. And same thing here. Have everything pretty much uh, balanced. So yeah, we have this here nice and well set up. On the top there so check that out oh yeah this is gonna be one badass RC guys Look at the size pinion gear. It's a 23. It was pulling hard on this 22 on the Sonoa. Now imagine with this beast of a, a brushless motor. It's the 7125. Oh yeah. And I'm going to be using the the brakes on here so i don't use the braking system on the motor to that way it doesn't it prevents uh heat on the motor so here's the uh combo easy run by hobby wing the motor is the 70 125 560 kv in the max 4 300 amps made for uh, fourth scale and fifth scale bashers same thing with the motor here fourth scale and fifth scale bashers for heavy trucks wow. 
I should have used this video as my intro, but this is going to be a part two video just to show what the ideas are, what my plans are, and what's the type of work that's going to be coming up on the uh, coming videos. On the first video, I showed me uh, drilling the these uh, screws to hold the pinion gear in the shaft. Normally it comes with one, but as you can see, I added two more. See, so there's a total of three. So these ain't gonna be going nowhere, guys. So yeah, I'm gonna be making an aluminum plate here with a stand, another one on the top, and another one holding the motor in the back. It's a very heavy motor. And uh, the aluminum is gonna be three eighths uh, thickness. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker than this, close to a half inch, because this motor is heavy. Plus if you jump it, you want that extra thickness on the aluminum to prevent it from flexing or bending. Can't wait to start doing that. I'm just waiting on uh, Amazon to get me the aluminum plate delivered. So stay tuned guys. Hope you guys like this video on this update. Hope you enjoyed it. And stay, stay tuned guys. Raul signing out. Peace.